His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the return of the Emirati astronaut Sultan Saif Al Niyadi to Earth after successfully completing the longest space mission in the Arab history. Al Niyadi has completed six months on board the International Space Station where advanced research experiments and studies were conducted. His Majesty expressed pride in the historic scientific achievements in the space sector, which had added to the UAE's outstanding track record of achievements that have brought pride to the whole Arab nation. His Majesty noted that the UAE's successes in all fields have strengthened its prestigious position internationally, wishing the United Arab Emirates and its people further prosperity under the leadership of His Highness the President. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the return of the Emirati astronaut Sultan Saif Al Niyadi to Earth following the successful completion of the longest space mission in Arab history. Al Niyadi completed six months on board the International Space Station where advanced research experiments and studies were conducted. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the historic scientific achievement which had added to the UAE's outstanding track record of achievements that have brought pride to all the Arab countries. His Royal Highness noted the UAE's wide-ranging achievements that have strengthened its position internationally, wishing the UAE and its people further prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. His Royal Highness further sent cables of good wishes to the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Vice President of the UAE, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Presidential Court of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdaybiya Palace. The cabinet extended its congratulations to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the members of the Royal Endurance Team on winning the FEI Endurance World Championship for young riders and juniors, outperforming 70 other contenders who competed in the 120-kilometer race held in France. The cabinet then extended its best wishes of successes to the students, educational and administrative staff on the new academic year. The cabinet also thanked the companies, institutions and commercial shops for providing promotional offers on school supplies for the year 2023-2024 academic year, highlighting the private sector's contributions to the community. The cabinet expressed its pride in the UAE for the successful return of the Emirati astronaut Sultan Al Niyadi, who completed the longest space mission in Arab history, following a six-month mission at the International Space Station, where advanced research experiments and studies were conducted to serve humanity. The cabinet congratulated the president, government, and citizens of the UAE for their historic space achievement. In commemoration of the International Day of Charity, the cabinet affirmed Bahrain's commitment to charitable work and the efforts towards building an equitable society. The Cabinet then approved the following, a memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding priority draft laws that aim to keep pace with the Kingdom's development needs, a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Information and Communication Technology 
regarding the digital economy sector strategy, which is part of the economic recovery plan's priority to develop promising sectors. The strategy is based on three main pillars under which 48 programs fall and aims to diversify the national economy in the digital field and encourage innovation to strengthen Bahrain's position as a digital leader. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision amending the table calculating patent and utility model registration fees to support inventors. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision on the practice of engineering professions. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the executive program for the MOU in the field of electricity and renewable energy between the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs and the Ministry of Energy and Minerals in Oman for the years 2023 up to 2028. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Education and Training Quality Authority and the Scottish Credit and Qualifications Framework. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for the Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals and true draft laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial report relating to the participation in the Tatarstan Petrochemical Forum. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Israel, Eli Cohen, at Gdaybiyah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's ongoing commitment led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to enhancing security, prosperity and peace for the benefit of all. His Royal Highness welcomed the guest, noting the importance of bolstering the Bahrain-Israel partnership to achieve common aspirations. He emphasized supporting efforts to consolidate regional security, peace, development and prosperity underlining that the Kingdom of Bahrain firmly believes that the dialogue and diplomatic solutions are imperative for settling regional and international disputes and ensuring the rights of people to peace. His Royal Highness underscored the Kingdom's firm stance towards achieving a just, comprehensive and sustainable peace that guarantees the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people that will lead to stability, development and prosperity for both the Palestinians and Israelis as well as all people of the region. His Royal Highness and Minister Cohen emphasize the importance of implementing agreements and memorandums of understanding signed between both countries to serve the common interest. The latest regional developments as well as current and international challenges were also discussed. In this regard, both His Royal Highness and Minister Cohen affirmed their commitment to maintaining efforts to confront regional challenges and safeguard regional security and stability. These efforts include bolstering efforts to combat terrorism, extremism and violence and consolidating the coexistence to support lasting peace based on mutual respect that benefits the region and the world. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to inaugurate Bahrain's hosting of the 3 and 3 Basketball World Tour, which will take place in November for the first time in Bahrain. The ceremony was attended by the Deputy President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary of the Cabinet Affairs Ministry, Deputy President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and President of the Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure with inaugurating the World Tour with the cooperation of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Bahrain Basketball Association and the International Basketball Federation in light of Bahrain's efforts to organize various international sports events. His Highness added that Bahrain continues hosting new sports events, including the World Tour. He affirmed the importance of providing various successes factors to host the event and unifying the efforts of all state institutions as well as media bodies to ensure the success of the event.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, held a session of talks with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Israel, Eli Cohen, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain. Dr. Zayani welcomed the Israeli minister, noting the importance of the meeting for the opportunity to review the progress made since the signing of the Abraham Accords and to explore various ways to achieve peace and prosperity in the region, stressing the importance of addressing the Palestinian-Israeli conflict given its a crucial role as a basis for regional peace and development. The minister stressed the importance of finding common ground for understanding and cooperation through mutual respect and working to build a future of harmony, stability, and common prosperity. Minister Cohen expressed his pleasure to visit Bahrain, which coincides with the anniversary of the signing of the Abraham Accords, noting the importance of joint cooperation for the achievement of peace and stability in the region and the promotion of bilateral relations in various fields. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of mutual relations between the two countries, reviewed the level of bilateral cooperation and what has been achieved in this field within the framework of the Memorandum of Understandings signed between the two countries and exchanged views on areas of developing cooperation. The two ministers discussed the results of developing the cooperation among the countries of the region to advance the efforts to achieve stability, peace and prosperity in the region. They also discussed the latest political and security developments in the region and the repercussions of regional conflicts on security and stability in the area, in addition to issues of common interest at the regional and international levels. They also discussed the latest developments in the Palestinian territories, where the foreign minister stressed the importance of a just and comprehensive and sustainable solution to the Palestinian cause in accordance with the two-state solution, the Arab Peace Initiative, and relevant international legitimacy resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Israel, Eli Cohen, inaugurated the new headquarters of the Embassy of Israel in the Kingdom. Or at, the, at the beginning of the ceremony, the national anthems of Bahrain and Israel were played. The two ministers cut the opening ribbon and unveiled the commemorative plaque. They then toured the embassy and its facilities. The Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he expressed pleasure to visit Bahrain for the first time, stressing that the opening of the embassy reflects the interest of the two countries in enhancing bilateral relations three years after the signing of the Abraham Accords. He stressed the importance of continuing to promote relations between the two sides in security, trade, cultural and other fields for the benefit of the two countries. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed pleasure to participate in the official opening of the embassy as an important event representing the joint commitment to promote and develop bilateral relations that serve common interests and contribute to peace, security and prosperity. He affirmed that Bahrain has been and remains a beacon of tolerance and the promotion of human coexistence and mutual respect, adding that it firmly believes in the power of dialogue and understanding to pave the way towards a brighter future. He also stressed the importance of deepening the diplomatic efforts and developing bilateral cooperation across the different sectors, noting that the establishment of this new embassy plays a pivotal role in their cooperative efforts. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and his Israeli counterpart signed a memorandum of understanding in the cultural field, which aims to develop cultural cooperation based on equity, reciprocity and mutual benefit. The two sides also signed two joint declarations on the establishment of an internship program that aims to promote cooperation and mutual benefit through the establishment of the Bahraini Israel internship program in the fields of software engineering, science and other related fields and on cooperation in the field of youth which aims to promote activities for the youth and communication between the two people. Dr. Zayani also signed with the Israeli Deputy Director of Securities Authority, Ron Klein, an MOU on banking and financial cooperation between the two countries, which aims to provide a framework for cooperation on issues related to capital markets, financial technology, and innovation. The two sides expressed hope that the move would be a new impetus to promote mutual cooperation between the two countries and develop bilateral relations to serve the mutual interests. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al-Zayani, and the Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs, Eli Cohen, held a press conference. 
Dr. Zayani said that Israel Han is the deputy king stressed the approach of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King in promoting security and prosperity and consolidating peace and the importance of further promoting bilateral relations between Bahrain and Israel in various fields to achieve common aspirations. He welcomed the opportunity of holding a constructive discussion session with the Israeli Foreign Minister, which focused on the importance of deepening bilateral relations and expanding joint action in the coming months and years. They reviewed the progress made in the implementation of the various MOUs signed between the two sides and exchanged views promoting common interests to achieve the objectives of the Abraham Accords and the Declaration of Peace. The two sides stressed the platform of the Negev Forum can, can be a major engine of security and prosperity throughout the region and an example of what can be achieved through practical cooperation. Dr. Zayani stated that the opening of the Israeli embassy in Bahrain is another important milestone in relations between the two countries. For his part, the Israeli minister stressed the importance of continuing joint action and bilateral cooperation in various fields and developing coordination on various areas of common interest to meet the aspirations of both sides. He said that Israel attaches great importance to promoting relations between people noting that the potential for trade growth between the two countries is possible, including increasing the volume of bilateral tourism. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhro, met with the Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs, Eli Cohen. Minister Fakhro stressed the steadily growing trade and economic cooperation between Bahrain and Israel. He highlighted the importance of exchanging official visits and meetings to further reinforce economic and investment relations between the two countries. During the meeting, the two sides re reviewed the investment prospects and the ways of further developing joint trade, cooperation and boosting investments in the upcoming period. The two ministers stressed the importance of the signed bilateral agreements and MOUs which contributed to creating promising investment opportunities. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, visited Al Hidayah Al Khalifiya Secondary Boys School, where he was informed about the progress of the induction day for parents organized by the ministry on September the 4th and the 5th, following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister was briefed on the mechanisms to welcome parents during the induction day and the information given to them about the new academic year. He spoke to several parents and was informed about their impressions regarding the organization of the induction day. Dr. Juma expressed thanks and appreciation to all the teaching and administrative staff at various government schools for their efforts in preparing for the induction days. The minister also paid tribute to companies, institutions and commercial shops for contributing alongside the ministry to organizing the induction days by distributing discount vouchers for school supplies to the parents. The Labour Fund, Tamkeen, has provided financial support amounting to 45 million Bahraini dinars for human capital development programs during the period from 2019 up to 2022. More details in this report. As they are the true wealth of the nation, all government plans and programs are directed towards investing in human capital, which constitutes the backbone of the nation and the basis of its development. Nations advance with the progress of their community members. This is why Timkeen continues to sponsor initiatives that drive productivity and contribute to accelerating sustainable development. Timkeen stated that about 55,000 citizens benefited from human capital development programs, as they included obtaining professional certificates, training in employment skills, and technical and vocational training. Statistics indicated that women's share of this support reached 58%, while 27,000 citizens benefited from the wage support program. The Bahraini element has proven its worth in all fields and areas as it is one of the important components for achieving sustainable development at various levels and the ideal choice in the labor market.